All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to take you around a day in the life of a short-term rental owner. We're gonna go check on a couple properties. I have a couple meetings with some other properties I'm hopefully gonna sign with Hildy Homes, and just gonna kinda of take you on the journey with us today. Let's go. I'm headed off to Chandler. It's about an hour away from my house because I live out in the boondogs. But we're gonna go check on my first Chandler renter, renter, short-term rental house, whatever I'm trying to say. It's absolutely crushing. We just had a month and a half stay. Somebody in Mesa was remodeling their house. They had a dog but they also had a housekeeper. So the house should be pretty good shape. We are gonna go find out. So stay tuned. All right, over here at my first property that I ever got in Chandler. It's amazing, it has been absolutely crushing. The housekeepers came through here and we also have inspectors that come through. Double, triple check everything, every light bulb, check the Wi-Fi, check the TVs, look for remote. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little walkthrough. Uh, the house has been renting for a couple months. You guys can see the condition it looks now and let's go check it out. So you can see right when you walk in here, you got the living room, big couch, Everything looks really nice and spotless. What's great on this place is we have a really nice office. So we get a lot of work from home guests that stay here. What's really important about my vacation rentals is I definitely like to stock the kitchen with as many amenities as I possibly can. It's great for more longer term stays and families. It attracts those kind of bookings and that's what I really like to attract. So. This is our kitchen, show you guys around. You guys, one thing about this property or all my properties is spend the money on a good cleaner and a good cleaning crew. You can hopefully tell in the photos and the videos that this place is spotless. It still looks absolutely amazing. The wear and tear on here looks great. There's like a few things, little nicks and dings, but for the most part, for having a lot of people through here, it's been great. The best part about that is we have 21 reviews, a perfect five star, and everyone always reaches out to me and says, wow, thank you so much. This place is absolutely spotless. So keep that in mind. That's a great thing I always strive for and it's just nice to see. This place also has an amazing pool, as you can see right here. All right, let's go check upstairs. Let's go see where we're at upstairs. So this is a two level, uh, one, two, three, four bedrooms, beautiful spot. So everyone has a preference on how they like to make their beds. This is how we do it. I like our beds and then I like to have our towels on the bed. So when guests show up, the towels look nice and clean and it's inviting. All right, finished up at that place, the Chandler spot that I've been renting for a few months now. Like I said, great shape, doing good. Just gotta keep it renting. We're going into the high season right now. So I'm hoping to get it very busy. I think we average about 85% occupancy and around seven grand a month. So not a bad spot. 
Now I'm gonna go meet my two other clients and hopefully sign a deal with them and lock them in under Hildy Homes and help them do short-term rental. Few moments later. Oh wow, what a day. Super hard to film and drive all over town and get all that stuff done, but amazing two meetings with my clients, really excited. One of these places is like a brand new house cabin up in Pine Top, Sholo area. And the other one is in Chandler. They seem like they're both gonna sign the deal. So gonna have to onboard two of those. I'm gonna show you how I fully onboard in Airbnb so you guys can follow me on that journey as well. But for now, let's jump on the computer and I will show you the Zillow of the houses so you guys can get an idea of what the houses look like. My ideas I wanna do for them. One of them's fully, fully furnished, dialed into a T, so that should be pretty easy. The other one is halfway furnished, just gotta do a handful of things and then we're good. So let's go jump on the computer. Okay, back in the office, it's starting to get kinda late. I had to hurry up and get some food in my system. But I wanted to jump on the computer and dive into those properties. I'm gonna pull up the Zillow, so that way you can see the two properties that I went and spoke with my clients about. I'm gonna show you what I like about the properties, what I think we can add value to the properties, and then we'll go over what the rough numbers could be that I'm hoping to get from my clients. So let's jump into that. Okay, the first house we're gonna talk about is the Chandler house. Everything goes as well. I'm hoping it's gonna do just as well as my other Chandler house. This one's pretty nice. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 2,100 square feet, has a pool, great backyard, parking, quiet neighborhood, great location, easy to get around. So hopefully I think this is gonna be a great success. So this is what I do. I pull up the Zillow, I look at some information. You can't really see any photos. Unfortunately, this is the only photo they have. So then I will go over to AirDNA, and this is where I want to basically check on the property, put in the address, so a quick look, it's pretty high. The occupancy is 74%. It's averaging about 320 a night. So that's an annual revenue about 86. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So what we could also do is we can check the overview of Chandler just to get a better idea. I don't pay for this part, but if you really wanna find out a ton of information on it, you can pay for the actual city. But you can see, just give an idea, there's 500 active listings. It's pretty even Airbnb and VRBO. So, but their average is anywhere from 173. I know with my other property in Chandler, it's about an average of 240 to 280. So I know we can get it to at least that. So that pretty much wraps it up for my Chandler house. So now I wanna show you the other meeting I had today, which I couldn't really film like the actual meeting stuff thing, it would be boring for you guys anyways. But this place is amazing. It's in Sholo, Arizona, which is kind of near Pine Top. And it's up in the mountains, it definitely snows. Very, very cool. So let's take a look at that. There is a ton of photos. So let's just take a quick look at the photos. As you can see, it's up in the mountains. It's really beautiful. This place was built about a year and a half ago and the people who own it had to move. So it's a great property. We're gonna buy it as is with all of the furniture. The homeowner waived all appraisals and all that stuff. So you can see this is just an absolutely gem. You can see the inside is top notch, great countertops, great furniture, great lighting, all the unnecessary appliances, plenty of seating. So I'll just go pretty quick, but give you an idea of what we're gonna do. I'm obviously gonna go in there and take a bunch of photos myself, but we're buying pretty much every single thing you see in this house. So it's gonna make it really easy to get a turnkey ready for Airbnb. So I'm gonna be basically like a co-host on this one. I'm gonna partner with the homeowner himself. He's actually gonna use this place also. This room right here, we're gonna turn it into bunk beds and put a little desk in there sleep more people. This is a great garage space. We're not 100% sure we're gonna do the garage. We're kind of thinking about maybe turning it into a game room, but with the snow and whatnot, it might be kind of nice to leave it as is so people can park. I don't know what all that stuff is, but this is the outside. Probably gonna to have to add a hot tub. 
But as you can see, so so this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, about 2,000 square feet. And I love that it's brand new. So change the bedroom size. This is a two and a half bath. So I think we can probably do, let's just see. Let's see what the difference would be if we did six guests. So six guests were about like 320 night and the occup occupancy, I can't say that word, is 63%. The fact that he's gonna be using this home a lot himself as well, I'm happy with 63%. If I can get this up to 320 night, that would be awesome. Let me see if it changes if we say eight people. Eight people actually goes lower. I have seen that happen sometimes, which is pretty weird. And let's see if we do 10. So I think the suite number honestly is six. So six guests seems to be like the suite number for this spot. 329 annual revenue, about $73,000, $74,000. I would be super happy with that. And I think my client would also. So we're gonna work on that and get it up and ready. So you can see with the Sholo property, it's brand new, it's gonna look amazing when we get it all dialed in. We don't really don't have to do much. So my part of the onboarding is to make sure all the cameras, the ring, the smart locks, smoke detectors, I'll do a full inventory check of both properties, make sure everything is working, get all the Wi-Fi, have all kinds of programs that I use to make sure that I know everything I can need to know about the house so I can explain it to guests when I'm building out digital guidebooks, all that stuff. I also make all the homeowners sign a contract with me. These ones are a little different. They're signing kind of like a co-host contract. I'm gonna build out the entire listing. I'm gonna take over the entire management, pricing, all that kind of stuff. So pretty straightforward, but, and then they will be in charge of all the bills, utilities, that kind of thing. And they will also get, make sure everything gets registered. So. I will show them how to get it registered, make sure they have their TPT license, make sure they're registered with the city, and then I'll be emergency contact number as well. So, all right, hopefully you guys liked that video. This is me just kind of driving around, a little vlog style, and then got on the computer. So hopefully, like, subscribe, give me a comment, since I hardly get any comments, leave me a little comment, let me know what you like about my videos, whatever, but see you guys all next Tuesday. Thanks for sticking around.